Barra is about eight miles long and five miles wide, and just over a thousand people live on this island. We're in Castle Bay, which is the main town in the Isle of Barra, and there's one thing that I have to do before I leave here. Kishmol is a small medieval castle that's been beautifully restored in recent years. This is the stronghold of the McNeils of Barra, whose galleys or birlins once dominated these Hebridean waters. The castle is completely surrounded by the sea, so the only way visitors can get to it is by boat. This means that the fortifications are pretty impregnable, and for me, the journey across wasn't without its problems. It's been threatening all day. I mentioned the wind earlier. The constant companion of the Hebrides, and it caught up with me and it whipped my hat off. But the man here spotted it. He's got the hook. Oh, look at that. Fantastic. Yeah. I don't have a tumble drive. Oh, no, don't you worry about that. That's it's perfect. It's dry in no time. <laughs> uh, I've been told to put it straight on. Some good advice from County Durham there. Yeah, here you go. How's that? What is it about castles that makes people so excited? This is this is everything a real castle should be. Quite formidable in many ways. It's just it's a real cracker. What's in here? Whoa! Secret staircase. You know, when you think of it, this must have been the first safe anchorage that seafarers would have found uh, between the north coast of Ireland and the Hebrides. So it's no small wonder that the McNeils became powerful, and boy, did they know it. There's an old story that says that every night when McNeil had dined, his piper would come out to the battlements, play a pipe tune, and then announce to the world, the potentates of the world can now dine. McNeil has finished. <laughs>